Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about an interesting little app called Glide Apps, which is an incredible tool for building mobile apps without knowing how to code. So whether you're a beginner or you're an experienced app developer, Glide Apps can be a game changer for you. So let's go ahead and dive right in and see what it's all about. Well, first things first is trying to find out what Glide Apps is all about. Glide Apps is a no-code platform that allows you to create stunning mobile apps using Google Sheets as a database. It's also a fantastic tool for entrepreneurs, small business owners, educator, and anyone who wants to build a uh, functional and attractive app pretty quickly. And now that you know what Glide Apps is, let's go ahead and explore what it can be used for. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually try out uh, and uh, make an app for ourselves here so we can see how it will go. So of course you can uh, sign up with Google or just with any email that you have. Uh, so we're, we're just going to go ahead and do that right now. And then once you are logged in, you will be able to end up here. Uh, it'll just talk about uh, a little bit about yourself. Uh, let's just type uh, like e and then you'll be able to uh, tell them uh, what your primary use for Glide is. So for this one, we're just going to say personal use. And then you can agree to any of these. Uh, we'll just say that. And then we'll go to uh, this part. Uh, so we're going to be trying to, let's say, uh, let's do an event planning. Uh, so we can also just skip these if we want to uh, let's just skip those and we'll be able to get to the dashboard so we can start making an app uh, just uh, from scratch or we could use a uh, template as well so we can kind of speed up the process so you can see here this is what it'll look like on uh, your mobile device uh, here we can uh, check out the data that is integrated into the site um, the, onto the app itself uh, there are also actions that we can do. So we can add uh, so here. We can have OpenAI added, uh, Google Cloud, uh, a bunch of other options that we have here uh, for your app. Uh, so if we add a new action here, uh, we can add a session, a speaker, or users. Uh, so uh, we can just go ahead and select uh, that's the interaction let's say for this one is the sessions we can also add a condition here um, but uh, if the session is not empty it will not work properly so we can just say uh sure let's do a start time and is and then select uh start time uh, so it's just uh customizing whatever you need to uh, connect between uh, the tasks that you need to get done. You can also add links here if you want to, uh, or you can put, uh, you can compose an email, compose SMS, and uh, you can do any of these actions, which is actually quite a lot. Uh, it'll basically automate all the things that you need to get done so that everything can be done pretty quickly uh, with just a click. Uh, and then if we go back here to the layout, you can see that there is the menu here. Uh, for user profile, you can also uh, check for a list of speakers. We have these sample ones here. And then for components, we can also add components as well. Uh, and let's see, so we can add all of these. We can add a title, uh, collections, as well as layouts. We can change the text, contents, actions as well. We can have um, button block, links, uh, a bunch of other things. We can even have forms as well as form elements, which is quite a lot of options actually for uh, making your own app. And as we can see on the, uh, here on the right side has, it has the schedule. Uh, here are the general uh, options that you can change. So we can even change this to card, grid, list, into a table. You can have this a checklist. So depending on what you need uh, this for, you can pretty much make it into whatever you're uh, you need here. And then you can also add columns as well as add more actions. Uh, and you can have allow users to add items, etc. 
you can even delete uh, allow them to delete items if you want to and then for settings here we can change the name and icon as well as appearance uh, and for the privacy you can change all of those options as well so if you want to secure your app a bit more you can uh, go more uh, go further into that uh, then the integrations as well you can add any of these apps uh, and so you can connect this to your app itself uh, for the advanced options you have uh, all of these uh, the authentication for better security uh, and uh, cookies as well as email address uh, so you can hide those if you want as well for sign-in screen uh, you can change this as well if you want you can add a greeting as well as description uh, and then you can change your uh, branded sign-in screen but you will need to uh, upgrade to pro if you want more options here and then for user agreements you can also add those here uh, and for data as well uh, but uh, those are gonna uh, need a uh, starter upgrade so this one requires a pro upgrade this one is a pro as well for billing, this is going to be for pro or starter, depending on how many rows you want. All right. And you can even view this uh, as a web uh, window, but uh, we, we will mostly want to see it like this as a uh, mobile tab. And then we can just go back here and you can see all the sessions that uh, are available here. And then when they start, they end the duration who the speaker is, and then the speaker link as well. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not too much to it uh, for the uh, templates here. We can also pick a template, um, but it looks like there's not a lot of options right now. There's only large screen or mobile. Uh, so if you want, you can go to the template store and select which one you want to use. Uh, let's go and pick a screen friendly one here uh, so let's create this app and it'll, it'll send us to the app editing dashboard here once it finishes loading up and then we can just click copy and it'll basically copy everything that is in that template and then we'll be able to edit everything that we need uh, depending on what we uh, what we want to add to the app itself so yeah as you can see here we have everything that we could uh, edit from before but we have all these as well now because we used a template so everything is pretty much complete you can just change the text and things there uh, that you want here based on what your needs are and then once you are done with that you can just click publish and everything will be set and uh, you'll be able to share the app and uh, test it out and make sure that everything is running smoothly and uh, yeah that's about it so everything we've covered here is uh, pretty uh, simple <laughs> uh there's a we went kind of a a brief overview of glide apps and all the features that it has so whether you're a business owner looking to streamline your operations or if you're an educator aiming to engage your students or if you just simply want someone uh, or if you just simply are someone with a great app idea then glide apps is a very powerful and very uh, helpful tool that can help you bring your visions to life so if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well as uh, leaving a comment if we missed anything uh, in this video so uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye.